Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing video of the Iwi Izumi Nendroid. Um, if you've watched my Anime Expo haul video, you know I got this from Anime Expo. And I thought it'd be fun just to do another unboxing like I did with Suga. So just like Suga, um, this isn't going to be a very formal video. It's just something for fun and to put on the channel. So either way, I hope you guys have fun and enjoy this. And let's go ahead and open this guy up. Here is the Iwi Izumi Nendroid out of its box, and this is the pose that he comes with right out of the box. And you guys are going to hear me saying this over and over again, probably about every Nendroid I will get in the future too, is that I absolutely love him. And oh my gosh, look, just look at him. He's so perfect. <laughs> and another thing I would love to point out too is that look at all the detail on his hair. Every spike is very detailed. I mean even look just just appreciate his hair like it's so perfect every spike is detailed and moving along before I just fangirl over his hair now that you've seen the Iwi Izumi Nendroid we are going to go ahead and take a look at some of the other parts that he comes with and we're gonna go ahead and begin with his faces so first off um, he comes with two other replacement faces, one that is a very confident smile and proud smile. Like, I love this. I think this face is just really adorable and really cute. And I just, I just love it very much. And then we have his more angrier expression, which, if I'm completely honest, I can't wait to pair it up with Oikawa's Nendroid and just have them act out a scene from the anime or the manga. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these guys. And moving on, um... Iwa Yuzumi also comes with a um, replacement torso, which if you don't want him in just his jersey, you could go ahead and replace it with this one, which is his jersey and the Seijo tracksuit. Let's go ahead and place that down there. And then in terms of arms and legs, Iwa Yuzumi does come with at least one set of re replacement legs. So this is obviously probably for his um, spiking motion when he's up in the air. And then for his arms, he comes with a, with two different sets along with three others that I'm not sure if they're supposed to be part of a set or if you could just go ahead and mix and match those. But either way, so this is supposed to be his spiking motion. And then we have a little flexing motion here, which I'm guessing is either supposed to be like a celebratory, you could either use as a celebratory fist pump or comes as part of the setting motion when he's going up or part of the spiking motion where he's going in for the spike. And then you also have this one. I'm not quite sure what this one's supposed to be doing, but we'll find out. Then we have this one, which I absolutely love because this is the one pair I cannot lose or mess up. And he leaves me crossing his arms. Just like, he will look, he, I like, I like the crossing arms. And like I said, I, there's no way I could possibly mess up this pair. And then he also comes with this final set, which is him showing up his biceps, which I think is absolutely perfect for you, Izumi, especially that he is about a character, and him showing off his biceps, like, yes, please, please, and thank you. And I can't wait to do to try these arms out. Um, and like always, like every Nendroid, he comes with his little stand in the shape of a um, volleyball court, and then you can see the little um, things to help him stand in the back over here. And with every Haikyuu Nendroid, his little volleyball, his very tiny little volleyball. I love the tiny volleyballs. So yeah, that is everything that the Iwi Izumi Nendroid comes with. And um, let's go ahead and try out a few poses. I just went ahead and put Iwi Izumi on a stand just to get a feel of how to set it up. And one thing I noticed about his arm, if you notice it, um, if you remember from the Suga video, it this one actually has one extra piece, which I guess it really does make sense because he is going to be jumping up as if he were to spike. And one thing I also noticed is that um, the support that's supposed to go for the ball as well is a bit longer than Suga's as well. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. So yeah, here's Iwa Izumi just on a stand. This is the pose that he comes with right out of the box. And yeah, so let's go ahead and change this out. So I figured out what that arm was for. I actually took a look at the box, which is something I really should do before making commentary. But anyways, here is angry Iwachan about ready to murder Oikawa. So yeah, that is actually what that arm is for. And I actually figured out that the other the other two arms that kind of 
came together with this one are actually their own pair. So I'm just going to go ahead and swap those out and show you what those are supposed to be. So here we have you use me in a receiving position and um, from those three sets of from those three arms that I kind of saw grouped together in the box um, two of them are actually meant to do a receiving motion um, this is the arm that I said that earlier was for spiking which it is but you can also use it for the receiving for a receive um, the only thing with this one is I had to go ahead and swap out the sleeve with the one from where he's flexing so just to get it into the right angle and even then in my opinion it kind of looks a bit awkward but that might just be because I haven't fully figured out how to do this pose correctly yet and yeah so here we have you using me going in for receive also I don't know if you noticed but I went ahead and swapped out this leg over here so the difference between the two sets of legs that he comes with is that one is slightly bent and the other one is kept straight so yeah um, let's actually give it a give out that spiking I want to see him spiking so we'll do that next so here we have Izumi spiking, and I was taking a look at the box, and I'm actually quite surprised that they don't show him spiking anywhere on the box. So Iwo Chan's a, a wing spiker, so I would think that they would put him on the box spiking, but apparently not. But yeah, so you could recreate him spiking with the same arm that we did the receive with, and I went ahead and took the arm from Angry Iwo Chan and just put it on the other side. And yeah, so we can have Izumi spiking. And look at look at him look at him and this is what I was saying with the arm being a bit longer so it keeps him nice and elevated off the ground and you could probably make him a bit put him a bit higher so yeah so this is where the extended arm comes into play and let's do the next pose here's you use me with his tracksuit and his volleyball um, this was a part I was curious about earlier because I didn't notice a connector on any of the other arms and um, I guess the only connector for the volleyball that actually will be Iwi's me holding it, the only connector is on the tracksuit. So unless you hack it like I did with Suga, this is the only one where he's actually holding the ball. And yeah. So this is Iwi's me in his tracksuit and his more competent happy face. Look at look at that. So yeah. Now moving on to the next pose. Okay, so all I did for this one was go ahead and swap out the arms, and I love this pose for a variety of reasons, because one, depending on the angle you have Iwo Yuzumi's head at, it's he can look like he's scheming something, or you could change it so that he looks like he's being confident and cocky and just taunting the other team, and I absolutely love that. Second off, the reason why I love this pose is because these arms come physically attached together, so there is no way I can mess up the pairing. There, I don't have to worry about the sleeves, and I don't have to worry about trying to find the right combination of parts that are supposed to go together, because we all remember what happened with Suga. I made him dance, which, once again, I do not regret. So, yeah, um, I love this pose for you and me. I think he's absolutely adorable, and I just love that I can't lose the arms or mess up the pose for this one. So yeah, moving on. Okay, and I saved this one for last because once again, he's showing off his biceps. Look at him, look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, so yeah. It took me a while to figure this one back out because I had to put sleeves back in place and figure out where I put the right sleeve and where what went where again. So yeah, I absolutely love this because and if you take a closer look at his bicep, I don't know if you guys can see it, like, it's very detailed. Like, they have, like, the way the actual muscle will look if you actually flexed. And he looks amazing. Like, th this pose is... I love it. I love it. That is it for the Iwo Yuzumi Nendroid unboxing video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, even though I said this was more for fun than an actual uh, formal unboxing video. But either way, I do hope you guys had fun. And I'll just go ahead and see you in the next video. Bye, guys! Look at how cute he is! Oh my gosh! Uh, okay, I'm never gonna get tired of, like, okay, I'm an Android obsessed. It's very obvious. Anyways, I had to do a blooper reel eventually. So, the one thing I always freak out when it comes to Nendroids is that I never know what parts to take off. Because I basically just dismantled his whole head. Because if I just take off the head, this little peg comes out too. But this already has a peg. Do I just take out this? But that peg doesn't come, does it? Is What's supposed to come off? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I think I figured it out. This thing can come off of the torso. 
and then I'm not sure if this one can come off but I got one off so this is staying on and now I'm gonna have to reassemble the head. The instructions are... Yeah, actually they do come in English, I just don't read. What is A? Anyways, the spiking motion a bit better than the receiving motion. I don't know, the receiving motion just looked very awkward to me. But yeah, I keep hitting him in the chest, guys. And yeah, I hit him in the chest. Okay.